Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's D, about to react to this impressive vid. It's titled, Beyonce and Jay-Z split up because of Diddy. Okay. <laughs> impressive is back with her conspiracy theories, okay? Or maybe she has some evidence, because sometimes she does. I will give her her credit. Sometimes she has proof. So, we're gonna, we're gonna see what she has to say. Let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive She's also talking channel. about this Nicki. Nicki Minaj is keeping situation. her foot on... A lot of y'all have told me to, to react to her version because y'all said she gives a lot of inside information and background information to provide a better understanding so we'll listen to it jay-z and rock nation's neck she is not playing around and recently she came after one of jay-z's affiliates steve stout and i'm going to get into that but i first want to get into nikki revealing that people were trying to pay her off to not speak about the bad business deal that she had with jay-z and title now, back in 2015, Jay-Z launched a streaming service called Tidal, which was supposed to be one of the main competitors for other streaming platforms like Spotify. Apple and Spotify. And he allowed 16 artists to have stake in the company, which included artists like Beyonce, Rihanna, Madonna, Kanye West, and of course, Nicki Minaj. I remember he tried to have Drake like come on board as well, and Drake said no. This is to my understanding. <laughs> and then he like dissed him in a song, and said that Drake basically wants to work with some some other white men, <laughs> so he could act like he's a boss. He he mentioned this on Boss, and people were saying that he was talking about Drake. The song is Boss with uh, Beyonce. Drake was also supposed to be a part of this venture, oh, but he decided to move on and do a deal with Apple instead, which of course angered Jay-Z. But the other 16 artists who did sign with Tidal were promised to be co-owners and they were also promised to have a small percentage of the profit. Come to find out, they didn't make any money. In oh. fact, Kanye West pulled out of the Tidal deal and said that Jay-Z owed him three million. Damn. Also, Nicki Minaj came out recently and said that she never got paid any money from Tidal. And this was frustrated for her because at the time, she was giving Tidal exclusive rights to stream her music and her music videos. So she was really putting a lot mm. into promoting Tidal, but she didn't get anything in return from it. So she made a comment pretty much saying this, I didn't even get one red penny when no one promoted it more than me outside of Beyonce. LOL, Ooh. child. So after Jay-Z's title venture kind of fumbled, he ended up selling majority of it to Jack Dorsey. And they can't get no money from that? Like, where's the lawsuits? And he made $297 million from the sale, which was a win for Jay-Z and some of the other co-owners, but not so much of a win for Nicki Minaj. Once Nicki put title Sounds on like... blast for scamming her, <laughs> the label executive Steve Stout defended Jay-Z on the Pivot podcast. Now, one thing about Steve Stout is... He is an affiliate to Jay, and so whenever Jay Z is in a that don't sound right. You know, he always it sounds like Nicki didn't have her ducks in a row. You know, that's that's what it's giving, because that doesn't make sense. If you're owed money, like if it, if you were contractually obligated to get a certain amount of money and you were not given that, then you should be able to take him to court and get your money. So it's a few mouthpieces that speak on his behalf. But of course, he would be shaded for that. Two people are Steve Stout and Elliot Wilson. They also will go against Jay's ops as well. In fact, Dame Dash implied that Jay-Z was sending people like Steve Stout <laughs> to come at him. I don't know why everybody wants to send certain people. There's certain people that always are defending certain people and talking about me. And I know that they're sent to do it. And Steve Stout's one of those poor burger face, stupid, you know, will do anything Perfect. anybody tells him for a dollar, hate his culture. And I just want to know who sent you, but you're making it obvious. And why you won't leave me to fuck alone? You know what I mean? Now, Steve Stout did recently sit down on the Pivot podcast, and he came on there to defend Jay-Z after the whole halftime show Super Bowl controversy. And he also addressed Nicki Minaj's claims that she wasn't paid by title. I really don't like when people who open up doors as black people get on. You can't hide behind that if you I, I, just don't like I think in that case, what Nikki did was wrong. To bring up Tidal, his streaming company, that he gave you equity in, that you 
you know, didn't sign the, the paperwork, and that's the reason why you left millions of dollars on the table. That man didn't do nothing to you. We've seen her signing something in the clip. Now, Nicki Minaj <laughs> responded to this, and this is what she said on Twitter. She said, I received a call advising title was sold, and they made no money on the deal. So all they could offer me was a million dollars. But wait, there's more. The lawyer advised that Deseret, a.k.a. Desiree from Rock Nation, <laughs> advised him that I had to sign the agreement in 24 hours if I wanted the $1 million or the offer was off the table. Listen to the end of Fractions for what my response was. And she did reference Jay-Z and said, while I count a mill, jigga what, jigga who. <laughs> also, she said this, so Barbs, thank you for supporting something I was a part of. I love you, but I was scammed and offered a million dollars to be silenced. I declined. The grace of God is sufficient. I didn't need their hush money. <laughs> Hashtag gag. So maybe she's Los in the Angeles. process of tonight so and tomorrow night. My documentary was awesome. Because I would think that you would want to take a million dollars over nothing if that's the case. So she must be preparing to sue. Period. That's what I would do. Hmm. So Nikki was offered a million, but she was supposed to get more. She had like a 3% equity in the company and she signed the contract but she did not get what she was promised. Instead, she was lowballed with the million dollar offer and it was an insult to her. She felt like they were only offering it to her to silence her, so she didn't take it. Not only that, she kind of hinted about her documentary, which I believe was probably blocked by Rock Nation because she was planning to spill some tea about her relationship with Meek Mill. And at the they time, Meek was there. a part of Rock Nation, so... Yeah. I don't think they wanted that documentary out. Who knows? Maybe they blocked that documentary for that reason. She also went on to say this. They got to keep the conversation on me so that no one asks about these charges against their BFF. Woo-wee! She talked about Diddy now. I mean, it seems the 30-year-old T here is far from stale. Patters, yet sass, ugly, alien, stout, B-breath, etc. All talking about Onika. Why are they talking about Oniqua? <laughs> and Nikki responded to this interesting comment saying they wanted brunch and baby oil. <laughs> so they were referencing the Rock Nation brunch and Diddy's 1,000 bottles of baby oil. Now, Nikki responded and said, worried about the tea of a 15-year-old child who was railroaded, and she's referencing her husband, Kenneth Petty. And she also said, but no comments on the tea and baby oil that's been going on for decades and as recent as months ago. If 15-year-olds need to be held accountable and told they can never move past their past, then what about the 30-year-olds who groomed and groomed, sat by and was silent, etc.? All right, let's keep the blogs focused on Oniqua. Short and stout B, don't want to talk about him friend them? <laughs> you know what? That's a good question, though. That's a good question. Like, Steve is talking about everything but his friend Diddy. I mean, what's going on with that? I mean, he was in Diddy's close circle. He was hanging out with him tough, him and Jay-Z. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But that's an interesting point. Now, Nikki went on to call out a few people, and she nicknamed them. I don't know who all the nicknames are for, but I'm going to take a guess. I could be wrong about this, but these are just my guesses. Okay. She said, Dear Short and Stout D, who is obviously Steve Stout, Laffy Taffy Alien. I don't know. Is she talking about Jay-Z? Because he has a funny laugh. Like, <laughs> that's how he laughs. <laughs> also, she said, D Breath. And this could have been about Elliot Wilson or the radio host who shaded her recently named Fathom Got the Juice. He said that Nikki was trying to duck his questions and she said his breath stank to high heaven. So she could have been talking about either one of those guys. And she also said SAS or S-A-S. -S. I think she might be talking about Stephen A. Smith because oh, he did criticize oh. her as well. And he also happens oh, to be Diddy a Sassy. friend of Jay-Z. But she has all of these wild nicknames. And she went on to say this in her tweet. Now, this is interesting. She said, we want to know if you are present during the abuse of teenagers and children. That's what we want to know. You can't taste my pee. Stop. Aaliyah, Foxy, etc. During R. Kelly video shoots and stuff, did you know about the abuse to Kim Porter and Cassie? Y'all seem to always run in a sort of rat pack. So that's what we, the people, want you and your peeps to speak on. Ugly, bald head, bowling ball beat. You ends don't have this energy for gangsters in person, but only for bees on the internet. Whew. Somebody protect Nicki Minaj because she's she's getting a little too deep. She's getting a little too deep. And she also responded to this post of her surpassing Jay-Z on Billboard. She said, move. <laughs> Listen, Nicki is bold. She is very bold. And 
I'm not mad at her for going in, but I am a you little concerned and a little scared <laughs> for her a little bit. But she's the type uh, who has no fear. You know, she's gonna speak her mind every single time. So that's who she is. Now, there has been some tea swirling. Okay, there's been some tea swirling that Jay Z allegedly too. met up with a criminal defense attorney and, a divorce, and attorney. a divorce attorney. Now, this was put out there therapy. by NT Lawyer, and I believe they have affiliation with the anonymous tipster site called Crazy Days and Nights. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but they are saying that this has something to do with Diddy's takedown. I mean, we do know that Jay-Z and Diddy were really, really, really close. We know that they hung around each other quite a bit and at different events, different nation. parties. And we also know that Diddy was out here recording celebrities without their knowledge and using it as blackmail. And who knows, maybe Jay-Z and Beyonce are on those tapes. It's also possible that Diddy might try to take Jay-Z down with him if he ever got a chance to confess and spill the tea about the other people who are involved in his whole operation. Who knows? Diddy is not going to be the type to go down by himself. Doing? He's going to bring Jeez. some other people down with him. And there's a reason why you have all these CEOs suddenly stepping down from their companies. There's a reason why all of these celebrities and public figures are silent and they're scrambling. It's because things are about okay. to hit the fan. I have a feeling that the Kardashian family are really about to go under over this because they have close ties to the situation as well. It was rumored that Kim Kardashian was one of Diddy's accomplices, allegedly. New information suggests that not only was Kim aware of Diddy's questionable activities, but she also allegedly aided him in covering up the evidence and compensating his victims in exchange for a cut of the profits. Also, Chloe admitted in one of the episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that she actually was at one of Diddy's parties and she pretty much put it out there that it was a freak off party because most of the people Ooh. there weren't wearing clothes. Yes. So oh wait, we gotta put this on normal speed. Not you snitching, bitch. On yourself. I was with me this weekend. A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber, a so far a bunch of us, Hannah. <laughs> On this party, half the people there were butt naked. You would have loved it. So this is what Chloe said. Now, it was disturbing to me when Girl, she named she just casually said Justin that. Bieber and Quincy. I hope she's not talking about Diddy's son. Well, his son. Yeah, she said Justin. I automatically thought of Diddy's son. son. Quincy Brown. I don't know, y'all. This is just disturbing. And apparently they were of age, but still, the fact that they were there is disturbing. But the Kardashians are just a few of the many people who are suspected to be involved in Diddy's shenanigans. Why y'all so weird? And just do no Cat shit. Williams actually I'm put confused. this on his IG story and said that Diddy is snitching on everybody. And one thing we could all agree on oh, is Lord, Kat hasn't been wrong about any of this. I'm tired of y'all mentioning him. Shut up, everybody. Shut up. Okay, we got it. We got it. I don't want to hear this again. I've heard it 50 million times. Y'all driving me fucking crazy. Jesus. Cat <laughs> was right. Cat said. Cat started off the year. Cat Williams told us. Cat Williams. Cat, Cat, Cat Williams. Ah, I'm going crazy. <laughs> I see this every time a, a, a situation happens. Every time. In every one of these videos. In every comment on Instagram. On TikTok. We get it. We got it. This inside tea is true. It's possible that Jay-Z is preparing himself for the legal trouble and the backlash in he the going future. Down. It's also possible that I'm Beyonce to too, is trying girl. to separate herself from Jay-Z. Shame. If he goes down, it's not going to be a good look for her either. So she, she might be involved. Who knows? In a row I don't know what these people are doing. And planning out her escape. I kind of wish she escaped sooner, though. I wish she escaped after that whole cheating you scandal You don't know happened. if she you involved. Know, the scandal that had Solange whooping Jay-Z in the elevator. I wish she left then. <laughs> But she stayed, Good. and now a lot of this mess involving Diddy is Cute coming drink. closer to her front door. And it's just not a good look. But I don't know. Do y'all believe this tea that Jay-Z met with attorneys and he's yes. gearing up to prepare for Everybody any legal scrambling. trouble? I don't know, but we shall see what happens. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about Listen, I don't trust none of these people. They all could be guilty. They all could be involved in some nonsense. So they all can go down. That This is wild. Things are definitely heating up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how this all plays out. It don't look good for all these A-list celebrities. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you wanna watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!